Hi, Storytime friends. It's Miss Ollie, and it's time for Storytime. As you can see today, we're going to read about dogs. I thought, you know what? We've read about cats a couple times. I think it's time for dogs. What do you think? I wish I had a dog on my shirt today, but I wore my owl instead. So you just have to make the best of it. Ready? Let's start singing. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. For your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Good job, friends. Okay, let's sing If You're Happy and You Know It. Ready? If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet, stomp, stomp. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet, stomp, stomp. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet, stomp, stomp. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, two or three, clap, clap, stomp, stomp, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, two or three, clap, clap, stomp, stomp, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, two, all three, clap, clap, stomp, stomp. Hooray! Very good, my friends. Okay, let's sing our ABCs. Are you ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G. H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Mommy and Daddy are proud of me. Very good. All right, my friends. Ready to get out your wiggles? Here we go. I wiggle my fingers. I wiggle my toes. I wiggle my shoulders. I wiggle my nose. Now the wiggles are out of me and I'm just as still as I can be. Very good. All right, friends, let's do our deep breathing exercises and then we'll read, okay? We're gonna do five nice calming deep breaths in through your nose, out through your mouth. We'll hold it just a little bit in the middle, okay? Here we go. Here's breath number one in. Hold it and out. Good. Here's breath number two. In. Hold it and out. Good. Breath number three. In. Hold it and out. Good. Breath number four. In, hold it, and out. Good. And five. Here we go. In, hold it, and let it go. Good job. All right, friends. 
Now, I think we should start with a very funny classic book that many of you may have read. Probably the grown-ups have read this, right? Harry the Dirty Dog by Jean Zion. Pictures by Margaret Bloy Graham. Harry the Dirty Dog. Oh, Harry. Harry was a white dog with black spots who liked everything except getting a bath. So one day when he heard the water running in the tub, he took the scrubbing brush and buried it in the backyard. Then he ran away from home. He played where they were fixing the street and got very dirty. They're fixing the street by us, friends. But you shouldn't play around it if you're a doggy or if you're a little kid, right? He played at the railroad and got even dirtier. Oh my goodness. All that coal. All that coal smoke. He played tag with other dogs and became dirtier still. That smile. He slid down a coal chute and got the dirtiest of all. A coal chute is not something you see very often. In fact, he changed from a white dog with black spots to a black dog with white spots. Although there were many other things to do, Harry began to wonder if his family thought that he had really run away. He felt tired and hungry too. So without stopping on the way, he ran back home. When Harry got to his house, he crawled through the fence and sat looking at the back door. One of the family looked out and said, there's a strange dog in the backyard. By the way, has anyone seen Harry? When Harry heard this, he tried very hard to show them he was Harry. He started to do all his old clever tricks he flip-flopped and he flop-flipped. He rolled over and played dead. He danced and he sang. He did these tricks over and over again, but everyone shook their heads and said, oh no, it couldn't be Harry. Harry gave up and walked slowly toward the gate but suddenly he stopped. He ran to a corner of the garden and started to dig furiously. Soon he jumped away from the hole, barking short, happy barks. He'd found the scrubbing brush and carrying it in his mouth, he ran into the house. Up the stairs he dashed with the family following close behind. He jumped into the bathtub and sat up begging with the scrubbing brush in his mouth, a trick he certainly had never done before. This little doggy wants a bath, cried the little girl, and her father said, why don't you and your brother give him one? I don't know. Washing a strange dog, maybe? Harry's bath was the soapiest one he'd ever had. It worked like magic. As soon as the children started to scrub, they began shouting, Mommy, Daddy, look, look, come quick. It's Harry, it's Harry, it's Harry, they cried. Harry wagged his tail and was very, very happy. His family combed and brushed him lovingly, and he became once again a white dog with black spots. 
It was wonderful to be home. After dinner, Harry fell asleep in his favorite place, happily dreaming of how much fun it had been getting dirty. He slept so soundly he didn't even feel the scrubbing brush he'd hidden under his pillow. There you go, Harry the Dirty Dog. Do you hear the door open, friends? Somebody must have come up the stairway. Okay, let's read I Love Dogs. This is by Sue Stanton and Bob Stocky. Okay. I Love Dogs. Dogs, dogs, dogs. I love dogs. Strong dogs, long dogs, nosy dogs, cozy dogs. Lazy dogs, crazy dogs, chasing dogs, racing dogs. Speedy dogs, greedy dogs, dogs in the snow, Dogs that know. It says, please keep off bugs. I love dogs. Dogs, dogs, dogs. I love dogs. Spotty dogs, dotty dogs. Wrinkly dogs, crinkly dogs. Here's sign. It says, adopt a dog today. Yuppie dogs, happy dogs, fluffy dogs, scruffy dogs. It looks like Harry, huh? Prowling dogs, howling dogs, dogs in the park, dogs that bark. I love dogs. Curly dogs. Oh, I skipped a part. Sorry. Dogs, dogs, dogs. I love dogs. Curly dogs. Burly dogs. Hairy dogs. Scary dogs. Woo. Naughty dogs. Haughty dogs. Shaggy dogs. Waggy dogs. Trendy dogs, bendy dogs, sniffy dogs, whiffy dogs. Ew. Dogs that are famous, dogs that are smart, dogs in the news, dogs in fine art. Dogs that wag tails, dogs that chew bones, dogs in big houses, Dogs without homes. He's going to, well, he's going to a pet store. But maybe he can go to an animal shelter. <gasps> dogs, dogs, dogs. I love dogs. Very sweet. I bet some of you out there have dogs just like we have Mally in our family. Maybe you have a dog in your family. Dogs are all different, aren't they? They're fun, they can be nice, but you've gotta be careful if you see a dog that you don't know very well, right? You shouldn't just run up to a strange dog without asking its, um, its dog parent if it's okay for you to pet them, right? Just never know. I'm going to read one more very short one. Then we'll do peanut butter and jelly and then we'll read our last story, okay? This is too cute to skip. Nap time with Theo and Bo. This is by Jessica Shiba. So this is Bo. And this is Theo. Oh, look at all the 
these pictures. Now time with Theo and Bo. Bo is sleepy. Theo is sleepy. It must be nap time. Love nap time. Time to sleep. Time to dream. Sleeping on our backs. And on our bellies. Closer and closer. Sleeping right side up. Or upside down. Cheek to cheek. And bottom to bottom. These are good models just right sleep tight love you Theo love you Bo to each other we belong so sweet. All right, my friends, let's sing peanut butter and jelly. You've been very patient. Very good. Thank you. Okay, ready? Peanut, peanut butter and jelly. Peanut, peanut butter and jelly. First, you take the peanuts and you smash them. You smash them. Smash them, smash them, smash them. Peanut, peanut butter and jelly. Peanut, peanut butter, and jelly. Then you take the grapes and you squish them. Squish them, squish them, squish them, squish them. Peanut, peanut butter, and jelly. Peanut, peanut butter, and jelly. Then you take the bread and you spread it. You spread it, you spread it, spread it, spread it. Peanut, peanut butter, and jelly. Peanut, peanut butter, and jelly. Then you take the sandwich and you eat it. You eat it, you eat it, eat it, eat it. Very good, my friends. Okay, let's read one more. This one's called Dogs by Emily. Grab it. That's great. Dog. I love dogs. I love big dogs and small dogs. I love tough dogs and soft dogs. I love dogs that bark and dogs that don't. <laughs> Isn't that true? Sometimes the smallest dogs are the loudest. I love dogs that play and dogs that won't. Oh my. I love hairy dogs and bald dogs. Stripey dogs and spotty dogs. I love slow dogs and fast dogs. Shabby and chic dogs. Shabby, he's rugged. I love dogs that are good. 
and dogs that are bad. They're not bad. They're just a little mischievous. But the dog that I love best, let's see, is any dog that won't chase me. <gasps> Do you see? It's a cat. That is so silly. It was the kitty cat telling you the whole time. All right, my friends. That's all I have for today. And I don't have Mally here with me. Wouldn't that be fun? But she can't come to the library. All right, make sure you get enough sleep. Really take care of yourself so you can stay healthy, okay? And just hang in there. Do those breathing exercises if you need them, okay? It's been a little bit of a busy couple of weeks here as we've wrapped up summer reading, so I'll try to be better about doing more story times for my friends, okay? We'll get back onto our regular schedule. All right, until then, just stay well, do all the good things, and we'll see you next time, okay? All right, bye-bye, friends.